All right, and joining me today is Dan Joyce, who fights Aiden Stefan at Cage Warriors 164. That fight is on November 25th. So, Dan, I wanted to start here. You know, the Netherlands, obviously known for their, like, long line of kickboxers. And, and you certainly showed your hands. You did in your last fight. But it's largely been your dominant ground game that kind of brought you here, right? Ground and pound finishes, submissions, all over the place. Has, has that sort of always been your style? You, you'd take to that at an early age? Uh, yeah, it's always been like that because I started off with uh, with judo and that's that's where where it came from. But uh, throughout my uh, amateur career, I only won on submissions and that's it. And in my pro uh, career, then I started to get it more comfortable comfortable with uh, with with the stand up game and yeah, that's it. So now we can, we can mix it up the ground game and stand up game. That's awesome. So you started with judo. How early were you doing judo and in, in sort of what got you into that? Uh, probably around six, seven years old. That's when I when I, I started training, um, basically because my big brother was doing it as well. So, yeah, obviously you, you're going to do it, uh, do it as well. Um, yeah, I just did uh, a lot of tournaments, but never uh, actually got to reach the, the, the high level. Uh, and then we make the the switch to to MMA. And sort of what prompted the switch to MMA? Because if if your brother brought you to judo, what made you think you know let, let let's make this a little harder, let's make this trickier on ourselves? Yeah, uh, I think it's also because of my coach. Uh, because my coach right now, Dwayne from Helford, he, 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 back in the days when I was still uh, training judo, uh, he was also my coach. So I never left. Um, and seeing him fight. Uh, I think that's that's one of the reasons I thought to myself, okay, I wanted to be an MMA fighter as well someday. And so, uh, you know, I, I, whenever I talk to Dutch fighters, I usually ask about their inspirations because there's a long line of famous Dutch MMA fighters, right? You know, you got Struve and you got Overeem and you got all those guys. It, obviously, now your coach is is maybe one of the biggest influences, but were any of those other guys or were there other people who, like, influenced you in terms of being a, a Dutch MMA fighter? I'm 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 not sure it's it's particularly uh, the Dutch MMA fighters. It's probably Khabib is also. It's it's just my my biggest uh, inspiration in MMA. Um, but uh, throughout the years, uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, Dutch fighters: Chermaine, uh, uh, the uh, the Randami, uh, Andy Sauer, uh, Robert van Roosmaal, uh, Ilias Bulaid, uh, a lot of uh, kickboxers who make the switch to MMA. And yeah, I, I got to learn a lot from them. Um, so yeah, just seeing them train and the way they train and the the, the way they are uh, striking. Yeah, it's uh, it's good for me to see it and to learn from it. And, and I was going to say that too. Is it like the best situation possible that you have this like very strong judo background, which is clearly still in your MMA game, but you also have seemingly surrounded yourself with people who do the opposite, people who, you know, kickbox and, and, you know, have big knockout power. Do you feel like that's been optimal for you in your, your MMA training? Yeah, yeah, obviously. obviously. Um, uh, I think because of that, um, the, the striking, um, you're going to lear learn it better than um, maybe other countries. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think right now I'm in a, in a very good place. Uh, especially with the striking. Uh, before, in the beginning of my my uh, my career, I wasn't so comfortable with the striking, but now I I don't care. And also because of because of the the Dutch uh, kickbox stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you you mentioned you know you're, you're starting to feel more and more comfortable with the striking. It almost seemed like you wanted to do that in your last fight. You wanted to show off that your hands are a little bit better than they've been in the past. Is that true? Were you like out to prove a point that like, hey, I'm not just a submission specialist? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I I was thinking about it before the fight, but I think after the fight, I think I, I talked to myself. Um, I think it's uh, good for me and also good for the, the other people, the fans and uh, also the other fighters in my division to, to see it as well. Um, but yeah, uh, for me, I think for only for me, uh, it's uh, it's been a good uh, good finish. So good for my uh, for my uh, confidence as well. For sure. Now let let's talk about those other fighters in your division and sort of where you're going because 
a win here puts you three and one at Cage Warriors with some wins over very impressive opponents. You know, we're, we're almost to the new year. I'm not asking you for like a, a plan for 2024, but do you have sort of what you, you're you hoping for in the new year? You know, m- more Cage Warrior fights? Are we hoping for something else? I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I think I'm not sure, but I think this is the, the last fight on my contract at Cage Warriors. So after this fight, um, we just have to uh, to figure something out. Maybe we stay at Cage Wars. Maybe we go somewhere else. We don't know yet. Um, but if I stay at Cage Wars, I'm hoping to fight for the title uh, next year, of course. Yeah, and maybe uh, from that position we can go to uh, the UFC. And is that sort of oh, that was my next question? Is that sort of always been your dream, the UFC, or is it been you know a lot of people say you know there's other big organizations too, but is it been sort of UFC or bust for you? Uh, it's always been the biggest or- organization, and right now, UFC is the biggest organization. Um, in the future, I don't know. Maybe um, my mind will change uh, in a couple of years. Maybe uh, PFL will will be much more uh, bigger than the UFC right now. Um, but I just want to compete at the at the highest level. I just want to uh, be the best, uh, best in my division. And yeah, that's always been the been the goal. And so, obviously, the next step to that goal is Aiden Steffen, who you're fighting on November 25th. So, let, let's start by talking about the stylistic matchup here. You know, he's a guy who can kind of do it all, but were there, did you have initial thoughts on, you know, sort of what he was good at when they offered you him as an opponent? Uh, to be honest, I I don't know the guy. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen his face on a picture probably one time. Um, but, yeah, I just want to fight. Um, now that I have seen... Uh, uh, a couple of his fights. Yeah, I, I can, I can see where, uh, where, uh, where his strong points uh, are. Um, yeah, I, I think this is gonna be a, a good fight. And, and so, out of curiosity, you know, you said you didn't know anything about him. Do you feel like that's the way with most of your opponents? And in how much do you you put into game planning and watching their tape? Uh, I'm I'm not watching that much. Uh, my coaches they are they are watching it, and I I I can hear from them what I have to do. Um, I only watch like a couple of things the beginning, but I'm yeah I'm not 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 a big fan of of watching a lot of uh, fights of my opponents. You just have to go in there. You have to do your own thing, and yeah, that's it. Just uh, just believe in yourself. Just keep going, and yeah, that's it. So if you go in there and do your own thing, that leads me perfectly to my last question, which is, do you got a prediction for us? How does it end if you go in there and do your thing on November 25th? Like I said before, it's gonna. I think it's going to be a great fight uh, for me, for my opponents as well, but also for the fans. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a finish. 100% it's going to be a finish. Uh, at the end of the night, my hand will be raised. That's it. I'm I'm just uh, wanting want to reach my my goal, and uh, this is just one 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 person standing in my way. That's it. All right. Well, you're here to hear first, folks. This is Ben Don Joyce, who fights Aiden Stefan at Cage Warriors 164. That fight is on November 25th. Dan, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.